The Adam Smith Awards are globally recognized as the industry benchmark for best practice and innovation in corporate treasury. Throughout this dedicated series, we take a deep dive into each of the winning solutions in conversation with the creators themselves. Hello, I'm Meg Coates, Joint Publisher and Head of Operations at the Treasury Today Group. In this episode, we take a look at the overall and highly commended winner of Treasury Today's Top Treasury Team Award for 2022. Here, we recognise any corporate treasury team that has made a real outstanding contribution to their organisation over the past 12 to 18 months. This award really showcases a team's achievements and our Treasury Today Top Treasury Team Award is the most coveted and hotly contested. Both teams this year have demonstrated strong leadership and impressive teamwork, with our overall winner having to manage business as usual following a major acquisition. They also display diversity, inclusion and talent within their respective teams. And our overall winner of Treasury Today's Top Treasury Team Award 2022 is AstraZeneca, represented by Jonathan Slade, Group Treasurer. Huge congratulations to the teams of Prudential Financial and AstraZeneca, really outstanding work. Hello, it's Jono Slade here, Group Treasurer, AstraZeneca, and I'm pleased to be speaking with you on behalf of the entire AZ Treasury team that won the top accolade in the 2022 Adam Smith Awards, the top Treasury team. Treasury Today has asked me to answer a few questions, so let me start with why I thought the judges decided on AstraZeneca as the overall winner. The judges are clearly best placed to answer this, but I think it was the combined breadth, quantity and quality of the activities delivered and the way we did so that stood out. We delivered on the structuring, cash funding and risk management for a $40 billion strategic acquisition, a series of important business support activities, for example, our China cross-border cash pool or our vaccine FX risk management, through to maintaining the business as usual activities, although I'm not sure what BAU is for Treasury teams these days, as well as planning for the future by starting a strategic review of the end-to-end cash payments and receipt processes across the group. At the same time, the Alexian Treasury team became part of the wider AZ Treasury team from day one and have worked collaboratively together since then. For me, Treasury is like a Formula One team with the various specialist areas needing to collaborate to deliver the overall winning package or solution. So, Clear communication of what's going on on a daily basis is important, but equally we discuss where we're going in the future. Having respect and trust in one another enables us to challenge in a positive way and so deliver a better collective outcome. You also have to spend time thinking about the individuals, the team, its dynamics, and how you can leverage the diversity of thought, style and experiences therein. A team is a living body, and so you have to keep working at it and improving all the various aspects. Having some fun along the way certainly helps. Regarding what is next on our agenda, I would say that we progressed well on our Alexian integration activities, but we have some further cash pools to implement and some changes in our FX systems and processes to make this year. We'll continue to progress our multi-year journey of reviewing and implementing new end-to-end cash payment and receipt processes, structures and technologies across the group as part of the group's move to a SAP4 HANA environment. Clearly, the business will continue to develop and so we'll need to continue to provide cash management, risk management and or funding solutions. No one really knows what exactly the future will hold so we'll need to stay agile. And of course, we will continue to focus on the people agenda, providing the team with new and developmental opportunities. 
Major transformation projects are more like marathons than sprints to me. There are endurance events which you need to prepare for. Ensure you are connected to and during the project build strong relationships with the other key stakeholders in the project. Be clear on who within the team is responsible for what and by when. Monitor progress and celebrate your successes along the way as these can be real energy boosts. But if things haven't gone to plan, be honest with yourself as what you can do to avoid similar things in the future, i.e. learn quickly from your mistakes. Remember to give yourself thinking and reflection time, even though your days are likely to be full on. Ask yourself, are you being busy on the right things? And finally, adopting the Monty Python approach of Always look on the bright side of life. (whistles) Never does any harm. Good luck. I'd like to thank again all the Treasury team at AstraZeneca for their tremendous efforts in supporting the business and for being externally recognised by Treasury Today for being the top Treasury team of 2022. Well done, guys. Next up, the highly commended award in this category. Our highly commended top treasury team for 2022 is Prudential Financial, represented by Nandini Monkia, Senior Vice President and Treasurer. Congratulations. Hi, this is Nandini Monkia, and I'm a Treasurer at Prudential Financial. You know, an effective, high performing treasury team to me means three things. The first is having a seat at the table uh, when making strategic decisions for the company. The second is leveraging technology really to future-proof operations. And the third is recognizing talent as a strategic differentiator. In recent years, uh, the value that is ascribed to the Treasury Department has actually grown quite substantially, um, especially you know, coming out of the early days of COVID-19, the pandemic. With this shift, the treasury function has played, and I believe will continue to play, a really significant role in both impacting and enabling the company's strategic agenda in order to improve the outcomes that the enterprise experiences. The second uh, point on technology is so critical um, to really shaping the future of treasury. The goal of this really is to leverage treasury to streamline and to automate uh, daily processes because in doing so, you can create what I call mind space, but also capacity for generating insights, because it is with those insights that you could actually influence decision-making towards better outcomes. And the last point is about talent. You know, I say that uh, building a diverse and inclusive team is not just a moral imperative. It certainly is one. Uh, but it's also very much a critical success factor for any organization. Because it's only when you foster an environment where you have a diversity of perspectives, which then bring to the table richness of thoughts, that you can actually generate new solutions, which are the bedrock of innovation, um, which comes from those rich thoughts colliding. So I'm absolutely delighted Uh, clearly and and extraordinarily proud of the professional treasury team for winning this award. And our treasury team meets all of these three qualities that I've just mentioned. Our treasury team continues to play a significant role in supporting the enterprise's transformation to become a higher growth, less market sensitive and more nimble company. In managing and optimizing the capital and liquidity of the company, the treasury team has also ensured that Prudential can keep the long-term promises that we have made you know, to our customers and our clients. Uh, in recent years, our treasury team has made really meaningful strides as well in incorporating technology into our daily operations. Um, I would say this has been a decade-long journey, but uh, accelerated perhaps in, in the recent years uh, from utilizing data visualization and data modeling tools to developing a Python-based dashboard for our capital markets activities, uh, the team continues to find you know, opportunities to make our processes more efficient and thereby dedicate more time and resources 
to the analytical work that drives value and improves outcomes. And lastly, we actually all uh, collectively take great pride in our diverse talent and in our inclusive culture. I'm so deeply proud um, of my colleagues uh, who really bring out the best in one another and they demonstrate their commitment to the company purpose every single day, which is to make lives better by solving the financial challenges of a changing world. Since 2020, our shift to remote work has really brought down the walls between different teams and functions. We were already a collaborative culture, but the ability to seamlessly engage across teams, across larger groups, and be on a joint journey, if you will, around learning and discovery was made possible as we all worked remotely. And as I've said, Treasury is really in a unique position to shape and drive the company's strategic agenda. Thanks to the connectivity that it has with various internal as well as external stakeholders. So when you put all of that together, all of these factors combined really created an environment that was primed uh, in many ways for innovative solutions. For example, in the last two years, Prudential's Treasury team executed two industry leading sustainable finance transactions. In March of 2020, we issued a $500 million green bond. And in uh, July of 2021, we renewed our $4 billion revolving credit facility with sustainability linked terms. As we transition into a hybrid work environment, we want to make sure that we maintain this collaborative mindset, both within treasury as well as across the enterprise and live that uh, both in spirit as well as in action which is really, this is the key to success. We'll be creating more opportunities of creative collisions in person while maintaining the flexibility of remote work. So this recognition really is a testament that our people are what set us apart, quite frankly. And it's also a a very important reminder that the best investments that we can make for the future of Prudential and our success are really in our people. A huge congratulations to all our Adam Smith Awards winners. Thank you for listening to this episode of our dedicated Adam Smith Awards podcast series brought to you by the Treasury Today Group. More episodes will be coming soon featuring other award-winning solutions. So please subscribe to our channel so you can stay updated wherever you get your podcasts.